Greetings folks, this is Gary again, and it's June 4th here in mid-Michigan, and it's time for my strawberry harvest. It's beginning. And the season here in this area of Michigan begins about early to mid-June. Since we are growing these strawberries on a landscape fabric, we are hitting them in early June, because normally in the past, my strawberries weren't ready till about the second week of June. And our season will extend into about early July. Mine will maybe be over a little bit sooner than that. The harvest season can vary here in Michigan or anywhere based on the weather that you have, the varieties that you're growing, and the soil type that you have. And in warm areas or warm seasons, we tend to have to pick more often about twice a week and the season will be shortened. When it's cooler in the spring when the berries are ready, which let's say it got down to the 50s or 60s, you're only going to harvest about every three days and the season will be lengthened a little bit. Now, if you want the best flavor on your strawberries, you want to be sure that they're fully red. And once they turn fully red, leave them on the plants for about two more days for the best flavor development. You do not want to pick any berries that have white tips or white caps or up around the top of the berry. Those are not quite ready yet. The best time to pick your berries is early in the morning before the sun gets up too high and heats up the berries. We call that field heat and berries will not last as long unless they're cooled very quickly. Now, the other thing you want to do is when you're going into your patch, it should be dry. And sometimes in the morning we have dew and the patch may be wet. And as you go down through there, you can spread disease. So pick as early as you can, but wait until the patch is dry so that you decrease chances of spreading disease. Also, when you pick the berries, a lot of people just grab with their fingers and pull. And as you're squeezing, you're going to bruise the berries. So what I like to do is I take my fingers and I cup the berry in my finger here and then I use my uh, fingernails to pinch it off of the branch. And then I lay it into a shallow container. And what I mean by shallow is two to three inches because deep containers will tend to bruise the berries on the bottom, thus decreasing how long you'll be able to keep those berries. And after you finish your harvest, you should go back through and remove any diseased or damaged berries because those are the ones that are going to become worse and spread disease. Strawberries are very easy to process. All you need to do is wash them, cut off the green caps, and then slice or smash them, put them in a freezer bag, and add sugar to taste. And you're in good business. Now, some people like sweeter berries than others, but the sugar does improve the texture of the berries when they are thawed out. But um, it varies as to how much people like to put in. So try different levels and see what you like. Also, um, <clears throat> if you want to freeze the berries whole, of course, wash and take the caps off, and then put them on a cookie sheet and put them in the freezer. And once they're frozen, then put them in the freezer bags. You don't have to put sugar on them, but when they do thaw out, they're not going to be as firm as they were when you put them in there. And there will be some variation in the firmness between berries uh, or between varieties because some are better for processing than others. Also, while I was out here, I checked my spotted wing Drosophila trap or fruit fly trap and I found nothing. But it's important to remember that that trap should be monitored and after a week you should change the bait and in this case I'm going to go from that mixture of the sugar, flour, yeast and water and I will switch over to the apple cider vinegar. And I will put in about one to two inches of apple cider vinegar and I will continue to monitor the traps throughout the season because I do have some day neutral varieties that will be harvested on into September. And as the season goes on, the fruit fly levels will get much higher. Now, that means you're gonna to have to continue spraying, so don't forget to spray. And we're talking about every three to five days in order to keep these guys under control. I do have another video on spotted uh, wing Drosophila that you can watch to get some more details. Uh, check that out if you have the opportunity. And don't forget to water in order to maintain the size of the berries. As the summer gets warmer and we get a little less rain, depending on where you are in the country, the berry size will go down. You can maintain the berry size somewhat by continuing to water them because about 93-95% of the berry is water. Well now it's time for me to, to enjoy the fruits of my labor and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a very nice day. Well that was really bad wasn't it? Okay. That, that was a joke for the day so. See y'all later. Well, here's the fun part of growing strawberries. Some strawberry shortcake. Mm. Well, that's the video.
video 